What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Hostility and as promised I have another gaming PC build for you guys and today's budget is 1600 so I'm covering both high end and low end spectrums of the circle here. So uh, this is the step up from the $1000 gaming build that I did uh, a little bit back like a couple, probably about two months back. Uh, so if you're in the market for something a little bit more expensive, this will be able to get the job done for you. You know, this build will be able to play most games at around ultra settings and probably be able to do like 4K gaming as well. It's just things a beast. And, it'll also, um, and while also giving you awesome gaming performance, this can also render out videos and convert videos. Anything like, you know, that requires a lot of high-end um, specifications this thing will be able to get it done for you so awesome build for the money and uh, definitely a one step up so if you don't have as much money to build this computer I recommend that you go check out my $1,000 gaming build as it does provide um, just a lower end spectrum of this build so let's get into the build and kicking it off we have the processor which is going to be the Intel Core i7 4790K clocked at 4 GHz. So this processor is an absolute beast. You know Intel really hit the ball right on the money. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense but you know 4 GHz you know that's never been done before uh, with Intel. And uh, saying this is a K processor you can overclock it especially with the liquid cooling that I have also included in this build, you'll probably be able to get to speeds of around maybe 4.8 GHz, maybe up to 5 GHz if you're lucky. So um, people have gotten this processor up to 7 GHz, but that is with liquid nitrogen, so we don't really, sh we shouldn't really get our hopes up as we are using uh, just a closed loop system. But if you do want to go the extra mile, uh, go with a custom water loop and you'll be able to get speeds of around over 5 gigahertz. This processor is just absolutely magical. You know, it can handle like most video rendering. It will be able to do it all with this um, this processor, especially if you overclock it. And it'll ne it won't bottleneck this, uh, the graphics card. This, this CPU is just amazing, guys. Take my word for it. And you can look around on review sites and everything. This processor is awesome. So going on to the CPU cooler, I've chosen the Corsair H100i, and this cooler has been tried and tested. It is an awesome closed loop system by Corsair. They make fantastic um, liquid, liquid cooling um, CPU coolers, and you know this will be able, this cooler will be able to help us to get to those clock speeds of around 4.8 to 5 gigahertz. Um, this it's also fairly quiet as well, and you know just. Like I said, look on the review websites, and I will. You will. Uh, you won't have to take my word for it that this cooler is awesome. Now onto the motherboard. We are going to go with the Gigabyte GA Z97 UD5H ATX motherboard. Now, as I said, like in my previous builds that have Gigabyte motherboards, these motherboards are like very durable. They last long. They have a lot of features and they'll just be able to, you know, be an awesome backbone for all of your components. Like there's probably some features in there you wouldn't even use. Uh, so yeah, this motherboard is more practical and a lot more reliable than most other like gaming motherboards uh, like the Asus ROG. I mean those boards are fantastic and if you are at a higher budget I'd recommend you go with those boards but at this price range I'd say this board is is basically that, but just without the name. So yeah, you're bas basically getting the same thing as you are with those uh, more expensive gaming motherboards, but you're still getting the practicalities and durability. So yeah, this Gigabyte motherboard will be really, really worth it, as it is um, not as pricey as those motherboards, but it does the same job. Now going on to the memory, uh, I've chosen just a 16 gigabyte kit, but here in the build list, it is the G Skill Ares Ares series. I don't know how the hell you say it, but it is a 16 gigabyte 1866 megahertz kit. And so, like I say in most of my builds, if you can find a cheaper version of the memory, as long as you're happy with it and it's reliable, go for that one. If you are building this PC, so you know, 8, 16 gigabytes will definitely help with the video rendering and. Uh, the converting whatever you're gonna do and uh, you don't really need 16 gigabytes so much for gaming but I've just thrown it in there as we do have the budget for it and at this price range you know it's more more worth it to step up to 16 you can also upgrade to 32 if you want but just by adding another 16 gigabyte kit and you'll be good to go so yeah 16 gigabytes is plenty of memory to last you a long time 
Now, for the SSD, I've gone with the Samsung 850 EVO series 250GB SSD. Now, these SSDs are awesome. I've used them in most of my builds, which include SSDs, and these things, like, it's going for really cheap at the moment as well. It's under $100, and, you know, before, SSDs like this were quite expensive, over around $200. So, you know, this SSD is really, really good for the money. But, you know, it is only 250 gigs, but I don't think you'll need much more than that to store your games and operating systems. So, uh, great SSD for the money, and you cannot definitely beat Samsung's reliability. Now, for the hard drive, uh, I've gone with the Seagate Barracuda 2TB, 702,000. God damn it, I screwed up. But, um, Seagate Barracuda. Uh, these are also great hard drives. Like, I often don't really want to go with the Seagate versions. I'd rather go with Western Digital, but um, I just didn't have enough money in the budget to go with any. And it is two terabytes, so you will have a lot of space to store your stuff. And uh, Seagate's are actually the next best brand to Western Digital, so I wouldn't really um, fret about going with Seagate. Um, these these guys make really good drives, and it spins at 7200 RPMs. There, finally nailed it. So, um, unlike the other hard drive that I choose as, in the upgrade, um, this will definitely be a lot faster. But you do get this is two terabytes. So, if you want to upgrade, I have the upgrades later on in the video. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for them. So for the video card, we're going to go with the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 4GB superclocked with the ACX 2.0 cooler. Now. These 980s, god damn, I would want one in my computer. Especially um, EVGA with their superclock version and the ACX cooler. This uh, graphics card will be able to get you performance like no other graphics card. You know, these graphics cards um, will be able to let you play games at ultra, maybe um, high settings at 4K. You know, these graphics cards are beastly. And with the ACX cooler, you'll be running cool and uh, you'll have like. It won't be overheating as the normal stock reference cards will. It has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, which is more than plenty to be able to handle most games. As most games nowadays, they have a minimum recommendation of at least 2 gigabytes. So you will have this. This card will be future proof for you. So yeah, it is quite pricey though, at around um, half a thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, it is well worth the money though. And that's actually sound. I made it sound like it was really expensive, but yeah, awesome card for the money. Now for the case, we're gonna go with the NZXT H440 uh, mid tower case, and this case looks absolutely sleek and wonderful. This case uh, it doesn't have any optical drive slots, um, but I have included an optical drive just uh, just in case if you do want one. But it doesn't include an optical drive. Like the front of the case is just solid, uh, beautiful plastic. And uh, it doesn't sound that good, but it just looks really good. NZXT makes awesome cases, and there's also the Razer version, which I'm interested in, and it like uh, has the Razer logo and glows with green. It's just absolutely awesome. This case looks really, really nice, and I think um, this would be a good option. Now, uh, if you do don't really like the H440, uh, I'd go with the uh, Corsair 750D Obsidian series. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting it right, but yeah, the 750 series. Uh, obsidian uh, steed obsidian steed no it's not it's not the obsidian steed but um, that case is really wonderful as well um, I use the uh, 450d in my $1,000 gaming PC build and that's just the step up it's a lot bigger a lot more roomier will be able to handle most and uh, most expansion needs that you will have at this price range so for the power supply I've gone with the Corsair CX 750 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi modular so uh, Semi-modular means basically that you don't need a, uh, most of the like you can plug in the cables you need and just use the ones that you don't need. You can just put them in the box. So th that's good for cable management. And uh, to be honest, I haven't chosen the best uh, power supply, uh, but it is 750 watts, 80 plus bronze certified, and it is the Corsair, so it is uh, going to be very, very reliable and provide 750 watts of power. So that's more than enough to be able to overclock the graphics card, the uh, power supply to handle most expansion that you will have. But if you do need to upgrade, um, you can go with the more expensive Corsair power supplies. But this one's going for around $70 at the moment, and it is fairly cheap for a semi-modular power supply with 750 watts. And it is 80 plus bronze certified, so you're getting some sort of uh, saving there. 
so that is it for the build and the total price is of the 16th of april uh, 2015 is 1587 dollars and 61 cents so just coming in under the budget uh but this is a fantastic build uh sort of like a lower end uh workstation pc workstation slash gaming pc but it is an awesome build and uh if you do build it phew, you're in for a treat so let's get on to the upgrades so uh they haven't really done many upgrades just the uh storage so if you want a bigger ssd just go with the 500 gigabyte version of the um samsung 850 uh like they're going pretty cheap now this is 200 gig uh 200 dollars for a 500 gigabyte ssd which is pretty cool i mean the uh, one terabyte ones are going for around 400 so if you want uh, a terabyte SSD uh, then there you go but um, there's also another option and uh, you might want to consider it as you know if you buy another 250 gigabyte SSD you can put it in RAID 0 and you'll get double the performance so yeah that is another option that you can consider for the um, HDD the hard drive um, the Western Digital Green 4 terabyte uh, 3.5 inch drive uh, it's spinning at 5900 RPMs, but you know it has four terabytes, and I don't think that you'll need that like 7200 RPMs unless it is your main drive. So yeah, the four terabytes is quite a bit. So yeah, you can store whatever you need in there. Not judging you, but there you go. Now uh, keep in mind, I have included an optical drive for the upgrades, but the I've just realized that the case does not have a optical drive slot, like it doesn't have a 5.25 inch bay, so uh, you might have to use it as sort of like an external um, uh, optical drive, but it is like just the Asus, it, it is a Blu-ray reader, so or Blu-ray writer actually, so uh, you can play your Blu-rays and all that stuff, but to be honest, not very many people need an, uh, a drive nowadays, uh, especially since we can download our movies and music and everything um, onto our computers instantly off cloud service websites, anything like that, you know, you don't really need an optical drive, but it is there if you do want one. And for the OS, you know, Windows 8.1 Pro, uh, Windows 10 is coming out soon, so uh, if you do want an OS, you know, 8.1 Pro is a good option to go, but uh, keep in mind Windows 10 is coming soon, so yeah, you might want to hold on to your money for your OS, or you could, you know, get it through another method, which I don't condone, so please do not uh, blame me if the feds show up at your house. So that is it for the build guys, thank you so much for watching, really do appreciate it. Leave a like on the video if you do want to see more gaming PC builds, I have one up every month and also check out the playlist for all my gaming PC builds, I have uh, various ranges of budgets and stuff to go along with them, so yeah. Also subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, peace out.